Out here today at the Iona College in Charlemont, back of Geelong. You can see behind me there's a 350,000 litre, or just over, spell chamber installation. Now this here is capturing water from the Cricket Oval, a very large system that's being built on the other side of the project. And what it's doing is it's storing it for reuse. So it's incorporated into an irrigation system, being captured and then irrigated back into the fields to keep it all nice and green. The inlet into this system comes through a pump well, which has an extended sump underneath it, which doubles as a knockout for the sediment. Coming into the system, you can see behind me on this inlet row, is a 600 mil diameter pipe, and that allows for future access if needed. Uh, but mainly for maintenance and cleaning ability. This row is wrapped in a woven geofabric, as you can see. And what that does is it stops any sediment that does come through from going into the ballast under the tank and over it. What that means is that the system will maintain its storage capacity. The installation team are building the manifold system on the back of the arch now, the back of the chamber tank. So this here balances the flow when it's coming in and spreads the load through the chambers. We partnered with them to make sure that the system's delivered perfectly, fulfilling expectations. Now we're just about to start backfilling this system. And a lot of us, a lot of you would have heard us talking about the material to be used. So you can see it sitting here in this excavator bucket. This is what we call 20 to 50 mil um, so it's a ballast locks it to lead locks together so you see there it's non-compacting and it stores in excess of 40 percent of its volume what that means is that one cubic meter of this material will hold at least 400 liters of water so it's a larger than 40 percent void ratio there's the update We'll check in soon with the time lapse.